Attention doctors, professionals, and small business owners. Watch this eye-opening financial wealth building and tax planning presentation and discover my number one secret for building massive wealth. You're about to discover the number one secret the Obama administration's tax hounds do not want you to know about. Now, I have to warn you first. This video contains one of my biggest trade secrets, and I will only have this online for a very short period of time, so watch it while you can. You have probably seen it all and you've probably heard it all when it comes to making money or financial planning, but you've probably never heard of this. It's not buying real estate for no money down or investing strategy in the stock market or high risk commodity trading or setting up some It's not buying real estate for no money down or investing strategy in the stock market or high risk commodity trading or setting up some offshore account to avoid paying taxes. It's the same strategy members of Congress, top business executives, major corporations and the super wealthy have used for decades to accumulate massive wealth. You probably just never heard of it. Just imagine this for a moment, a debt free lifestyle where you pay for all major purchases with cash and where the cash just replenishes itself month after month and you never have to worry about running out of retirement dollars or that you're leaving a big enough nest egg to your children. Imagine knowing your investments are safe from risk of loss and that you're not worried about the tax rate because you're not paying much legally. Well guess what? You can solve this problem of not having enough spendable cash, paying too much in taxes, running out of money in retirement in the same time it would take to watch a good movie. Don't believe me? You will. But first, what do you imagine? You're on this webinar for a reason. Most people know that based on their results, they don't have a very good financial plan. Or maybe you've done pretty good, but you're worried about the current state of the nation or what will happen in the future. And believe it or not, this is not going to be so painful that you need to save a lot more money or put a crimp on your lifestyle now to get what you want later. Here's what it's all about and how you can become financially free forever, guaranteed by setting up and learning to use the family bank. This may sound too simple to work, but believe me, it works like crazy. It's a real game changer, and here's why. A family bank can be set up from an existing qualified or non-qualified plans, and can grow even faster with funding from your existing cash flow. Let me explain. Most Americans have an understanding of the U.S. banking system. After all, we're all familiar with opening up a bank account, a savings account, or applying for a credit card, a car loan, and a home mortgage. Opening up these types of accounts, whether they're debt accounts or credit accounts, is easy. In fact, the banking and loan industry makes it way too easy. But did you ever think, why is it so easy to open up one of these types of accounts? In fact, the average credit card debt per household is more than $15,900. The average number of credit cards held by cardholders is three and a half. In the United States, revolving debt is made up of 98% credit card debt. This includes credit cards, department store cards, and the like. The total is more than $801 billion. The average APR on those credit cards is nearly 12.8%. There are more than 177 million credit card holders in the United States. But the scary truth is, revolving debt only makes up 31% of all consumer debt. The other 69% is derived from automobile loans, student loans, and loans for boats, trailers, and vacations. And I have not even talked about home loans. If we looked at all mortgage debt, it's more than $13 trillion, and I stress trillion. The first secret you already know, the banking industry. You need to know why it's so easy to get a loan, get a credit card, or even open up a checking or savings account. The reason it's so simple? Lenders and banks make billions of dollars from us. Often they're just loaning our own money to us and charging us a fortune. What's the difference between a commercial lender or a commercial bank and your family bank? Understanding the difference is the secret. The secret is you get to keep all the interest and the principal payments. Just think, how much money do you spend per month paying the banks, lenders, credit card companies, etc.? Now imagine if you were able to keep all that money yourself. You see, that's just one of my many secrets that could allow you to live rich now and retire in style. Imagine a debt-free life, an incredible retirement, paying for new cars, paying for your children's college education, etc. in cash. With a family bank, it's easier to dream big and live the life you choose, not what you have to do just to get by day to day. Hi, this is James Cunningham. I'm the creator of the family bank. 
For nearly two decades, I have worked in virtually all realms of the financial industry. I have helped thousands of people learn the secrets of the banking industry and apply those secrets for their own families and their own businesses to get out of debt, stay out of debt, and achieve true financial independence. The Family Bank is the first product ever that will allow you to create wealth, compound growth, finance your lifestyle now, and leave a legacy to your heirs without requiring more money, more risk, more time with complicated soup du jour strategies. Even if you're too busy, struggle to keep up now and think it's too complicated. The reason other financial planners, accountants, investment advisors, or life insurance agents don't tell you about this is because, frankly, they just don't know. Otherwise, they would have already. Let me tell you why. As a registered financial consultant, an accountant, a certified asset protection planner, a certified wealth protection planner, a master certified estate planner, and a life insurance broker and former stockbroker, I can tell you that in the real world, your different advisors, if you have them, do not coordinate together their planning strategies for your benefit. When was the last time your tax preparer, your 401k representative, investment advisor, your life insurance agent, and your estate planner got together to evaluate you and your family's financial needs? My guess is never. Here's an example of coordinated planning. Can you imagine a football team that practiced every day but never practiced together? How successful would that team perform on game day? Even the best financial advisors who do not coordinate their strategies end up failing their clients. All you have to do is look at the lack of adequate retirement funds, the tremendous amount of consumer debt in this country, a staggering number of bankruptcies, and you know that advisors do not provide coordinated planning. And what do the bankers think? Lenders do not want you to know the power of setting up your own family bank. Why? Because it takes all the profit out of their wallets and puts it back in yours. I can easily help you set up your own family bank and help coordinate your financial plan no matter what your goals or objectives. The family bank works for those who have a limited amount of funds, for those with multi-million dollar estates. It's ideal for doctors, professionals, business owners, and non-business owners alike. The family bank does not take the millions of dollars required to start a conventional bank. You can establish your own family bank on any budget. Here's a clue to another secret. I'm going to give you two real life examples of how the family bank can work for you. Buying a new car and comparing a 401k retirement plan to the family bank. But the secret, learning how to leverage your money without spending it. Here's the example of buying a new car. Let's say you have your eye on a car that's going to cost $30,000. Now when you buy a new car, there's a couple different options of how you can pay for it. First of all, if you got the cash, you can pay for it, but once you spend that money, the cash is gone forever. And again, I could ask you, what rate of return would you earn on the $30,000? Once it's gone, the rate of return is zero. You could also choose to finance it. If you finance it, you're going to pay the principal of $30,000 plus its interest. Here's an example of $500 a month. What rate of return are you earning on that payment? Well, again, the answer is zero. You never earn a rate of return on debt. Next option is you could lease it, but you have the same problem once the money spent is gone forever. Now, the next option is the family bank. And here, what you're going to learn how to do is learn how to buy the new car and keep 100% of your money. So here are the steps that you go through to buy a new car. First of all, you need to open up your own family bank. Step number two, you need to contribute money to your bank, just like you're checking your savings account. Step number three, when you have major purchases over $5,000, you need to use your own family bank to borrow money from yourself and collateralize it. Step number four, you pay off the car, stay debt free, and keep 100% of your account value in your family bank. Now, you may ask, how do I contribute money? How do I borrow money from myself? How do I collateralize my money? How do I keep 100% of my money in the family bank and pay off the car at the same time? The answer is keep watching and allow us to build your personalized strategy. Every situation is different, different incomes, different debts, etc. Now let's talk about taxes just for one second. If I were to take a census of what future tax rates are going to be, would you say they're going to stay the same? They're going to be higher or they're going to be lower. Well, I think that most people would agree that they're going to be much higher. Now, let's look at the four phases of retirement and start to compare the 401k retirement plan to a family bank. When you have an IRA or a 401k or qualified plans like this, you get a tax favored contribution. The money also grows tax deferred, but eventually when you pull the money out in the form of a withdrawal, you have to pay taxes on it. 
you also may have to pay a penalty on that if you draw it out too quickly. And there's also taxes that have to be paid when you leave the money to your beneficiaries. When you look at these four phases, you're not only saving for your own personal retirement, but you're also saving for the government's retirement. And they get their share in the form of estate taxes, state estate taxes, income taxes, state taxes, and if you make too much money in retirement, and if you make too much money in retirement, you have to pay a penalty on your Social Security. I want to ask you a question. Is postponing taxes really a good idea? When you look at your retirement picture and what it looks like after you pay the taxes is two very different pictures. One of the common questions that I hear after I have explained how taxes really work in retirement is, James, why didn't somebody tell me the rest of the story? Let's look at it. Let's say that you are planning on retiring with an IRA or a 401k. And let's say that you're going to save $4,000 a year for 30 years. That means that you have a total contribution of $120,000. Now, let's say that you're in a 34% tax bracket. If you were to do this each and every year that you save $4,000 into a qualified plan, you're not getting a tax deduction per se, but you're just deferring the taxes of $1,360. Now, over a 30-year period, what you think you did was save $40,800 in taxes, but really all you did was delay the tax bill to be even much bigger. So now let's look at what happens to your IRA or your 401k when you decide to retire. First of all, we look at the $4,000 that you saved per year. Let's assume it earned a 10% rate of return for 30 years. That means that the account has grown to be worth more than $720,000. Let's say that you're going to withdraw 10% of that per year. Well, if you're in the same tax bracket, and again, remember the census, we thought maybe it could go up, you would have to pay $24,480 in taxes. That would give you a net spendable income of only $47,520. Now, you've probably heard of the analogy of the seed versus the harvest. Well, during the retirement years, let's say between the ages of 65 to 85, you would spend more than $500,000 in taxes on all that money that was just deferred. But remember, you only deferred $40,800 in taxes that you saved during the contribution phase. Now ask yourself, was that a good exchange? You deferred $40,800 during contribution years to pay a half a million dollars in retirement. In the first two years of retirement, every dollar of taxes that you saved is paid back. A person living a normal life expectancy will pay over 10 times the taxes on qualified retirement plans during the retirement years than the taxes saved during the contribution years. So we should ask ourselves, whose retirement are we really planning? Ours or Uncle Sam's? Now, let me give you an, another example. Let's say that we take a 50-year-old male and a 49-year-old spouse, and they have a current income of $150,000 per year. They would like to retire at age 60 on $100,000 a year in today's income. Now, let's see what kind of effect inflation has on our goal of $100,000. First of all, let's use an inflation rate of 3%. The desired income was to start at age 60 for this couple. Well, today's dollar equivalent in 10 years is we have to have $134,000 to have the same purchasing power as $100,000 has today. In 20 years, we need more than $180,000 to buy the same amount of goods and services. So let's go back to that example. We have our 50-year-old male and his 49-year-old spouse. Let's say that they currently have a half a million dollars in a qualified plan, like a 401k, an IRA, SEP IRA, or a profit sharing plan. Well, their concern is outliving their money. Why be concerned? Well, let's say that the doctor and his wife contribute $10,000 per year to the qualified plan. The account earns an average of, let's say, 8% rate of return. Well, what is the value like going to be in 10 years? The current value is $500,000 plus $10,000 per year at a growth rate of 8%. That means that at age 60, in 10 years, that individual will have $1,224,328. So let's say that the couple retires at age 61. Well, the value at age 60 was $1,224,328. They decide to take an annual income of $134,391. Remember, their goal was to have $100,000 in today's equivalent. Do you see the problem even after the first year? 
Well, when you liquidate the account, the value has now dropped to $1,187,000. You're going backwards in the very first year. So we see that there is an impact on our investments, even with an inflation rate as low as 3%. Each year, in order to purchase the same lifestyle, you're going to need a 3% increase in money. Now look at this chart very quickly. $100,000 in today's equivalent over time can get very, very large. Notice how each and every year the amount you need to liquidate in order to have a $100,000 lifestyle continues to get more and more expensive. Within 14 years, you have completely drained your qualified plan. If you liquidate the growth, the account stays the same. But if you have to liquidate the growth and part of the principal each and every year, eventually you're out of money. Let's look at this comparative analysis between the family bank and a qualified plan. So let's look at some numbers between the 401k and the family bank. First of all, let's assume that we're going to look at a 50-year-old male who's going to save $50,000 per year over a six-year time period. He's in a 30% tax bracket and the accounts are going to earn a 9.4%. Now after six years, at this point, it appears that our 401k plan is better because the value is higher. So if we look at the value between the two accounts after six years, we can see that the 401k has $404,000. Our family bank has only $311,000. But what we need to keep in mind is we haven't paid any taxes yet on this 401k. Now at this point, we're going to start taking income from both accounts. But what I want you to recognize is, is that inside the 401k balance, when we liquidate money, the value gets smaller and smaller and smaller each and every year. Also at the same time, it is important to note that the $48,000 has not had any taxes paid yet. In our family bank, when we take out $48,000, we're going to learn how to leverage this money so that the value of our account continues to grow and compound. In year 20, we can see that even though we put in the same dollar amount into the family bank and the 401k and withdrawn or liquidated the account or learn how to leverage the money it's exactly the same dollar for dollar but now look at the balances after 10 years in retirement in this example our qualified plan only has two hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and ninety dollars in it and our family bank still has over eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars after 25 years of opening this account the 401k money is completely gone yet at the same time our family bank account still has over 1.2 million dollars in it with the family bank we'll teach you how to leverage money just like your local bank you will learn how to buy new assets and cash and stay out of debt we'll teach you how to have a perpetual income source just like your banker uses your local commercial bank has you deposit money into your checking or savings account and then they pay you hardly any interest if any at all but then when you need to borrow money to buy a car or other assets they leverage money they charge you a higher rate on the loan than what they would allow you to earn in the checking or savings account. You're going to stop making the banks richer and richer and take control by keeping your hard-earned money by using the power of leverage in your favor, not theirs. Here's what some of my clients have said. In the nearly 10 years that I've known James Cunningham, he's always thought out of the box. That is the kind of expertise I seek from a financial advisor. Cunningham Financial Seminars made me realize I cannot run my business alone. Cunningham helped me with tax planning and taught me ways to keep my overhead down. I highly recommend speaking with James and getting a review of your current business situation. In less than three years, I paid off more than $180,000 in student loans, bought half my practice, put a down payment on a plot of land where I want to build my dream home, all with the family bank. It has been stated for many decades that there are many roads to financial independence or freedom, and this is certainly true. Some for sure are aggressively risky and rocky and others more conservatively smooth. Some are filled with potholes and others just newly paved. Since all such roads eventually end up under construction, you will require a guide, a mentor, to carefully walk you through. James Cunningham is that guide you should seek out. Dr. John Demartini, founder of the Demartini Institute, and starred in the movie The Secret. Now there's one thing I want you to realize. It's not your fault that you're not living the dream right now. You were just never told the secrets to wealth building and living wealthy. 
I want you to say goodbye to not having a personal executable financial plan and worrying about your financial future. What would happen to you or your spouse if one of you got hit by a bus and died tomorrow? Would you have to keep working? Or worse, what if you didn't die but had huge medical bills? Do you have sufficient income set aside today for life's financial challenges? Do you have a plan for getting out of debt and staying out of debt? The family bank can turn every dollar you have to pay off debt into two dollars. How quickly would you be able to turn your life around if you could get out of debt within the next few years? What about education? Do you have student loans you currently pay for? Do your children have the desire to go to college but paying for it means more debt, student loans, or money out of your pocket you just don't have? The Family Bank can not only show you how to pay off current student loan debt much faster, but also show you how to pay for your children's education in full while you keep all the money in your Family Bank. And what about retirement? According to the Social Security Administration, when Americans retire, 40% will sell their home, downsize, or end up living with family or friends. 30% of Americans rely on financial assistance. Approximately 73% of Americans' sole income source is Social Security. This is a completely unreliable retirement plan for those 50 and younger. The average income per retired couple is approximately $20,000 per year. 27% of Americans will continue to work because they have to, and only 3% of Americans are considered financially secure when they retire. The question is, where will you be? The Family Bank will not only allow you to keep your current lifestyle in retirement, but also allow you to have a perpetual income stream allowing you to live the life that you want, not the life that's dictated by the amount of money in your pocket. You will also dramatically reduce the amount of taxes you pay, resulting in yet again more money for you and your family. Now I'm sure you're wondering, will the Family Bank work for me? How fast does it work? Is it guaranteed to work? Is there support once I set it up? The answer, yes, 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 and yes. Let me show you. Will the program work for me, you may ask. Well, here's some questions for you. Do you have debt you pay for or would like to pay off? Do you plan on buying or paying for assets in the future like cars, boats, a house, or a future business opportunity? Do you have family that you're responsible for financially? Do you have the desire to take vacations, but the vacation you want to take, you can't because of lack of money? Would you like to give your children a debt-free college education? Would you like to make sure your family is financially protected if you or another family member dies prematurely? Do you have a desire to retire in comfort or do you fear that you're going to have a massive shortfall of retirement income? If you never had to worry about money again, would you lead a different life, make different decisions, or spend your time differently? If you answered yes to any of the questions, the Family Bank will not only work for you but also give you more opportunities, more freedom, and more control of your life. Financial independence is not just for the lucky or those born into it. It is for those who truly understand the simple principles of the banking system and use them for their own advantages. We will teach you those principles. Now the price. I'm going to get to that in just a few minutes, but I want to tell you a little bit more first. Let me share some thoughts. What are the key elements in a complete personal strategic financial and estate plan? Saving money regularly? Knowing more about taxes to minimize that burden for you personally, your business, and your retirement? How about having a personal will or having a family trust? Having money set aside for a rainy day? Having a true plan for getting out of debt and staying out of debt? If you're a business owner, you need sufficient cash flow, not only to generate a profit, but also to make sure that you're saving money for you and not just earning money that flows in and out of your hands. Obviously, a solid financial plan includes all the necessary elements to protect you and your family's present and future financial security. Tax planning, accounting, estate planning, asset protection planning, life insurance, no risk investment planning, a plan for getting out of debt, etc. In other words, complete coordinated planning. The family bank includes all of these critical elements, not just one or two of them. So what do you get with your family bank? Well, first of all, it includes a personal and financial plan from me, James Cunningham, and my team, recorded on a DVD that takes into account your personal situation and objectives. We use your numbers, your goals, your situation that you've laid out in your financial profile. I will lay out a financial strategy that you can execute to get from point A to point B. 
As a certified asset prediction planner and a certified wealth prediction planner, and one of only 30 or so master certified estate planners in the country, a former stockbroker and a registered investment advisor with degrees in accounting and an MBA with an emphasis in taxation, my insight is invaluable. In the past, for these plans, I've charged up to $2,500 for this service alone. But also included is an estate plan setup, or if you have one, a review to make sure that it's complete. As a master certified estate planner, I will make recommendations on your existing estate plan and point out potential problems. If you do not currently have an estate plan in place, or if there's something missing, my team at Cunningham Financial will include a family will and a family trust, with durable powers of attorney for medical, property, and business affairs, a power of attorney with living provisions, the necessary trust provisions for children, a revocable family trust, and a pour-over will for both you and your spouse or partner. That's right, a review and or setup of a personal will in a family trust. Priced independently, you could easily pay upwards of $2,500. But we'll give you a bonus. We will help you set up a business entity of your choice. We will set up a limited partnership, limited liability company, an S Corp or a C Corporation for your business. So here's what you'll get in the family bank. A personalized financial plan recorded on a DVD that has a value of about $2,500. An estate plan review or a setup, a value of $2,500. A will and a living will, a value of $950. A family trust, $1,800 value. The setup of the actual family bank, no charge for that at all. An annual plan review each and every year, a value of $497. And the bonus of one business entity set up for about $697, a total cost easily over $8,900. What do you think would be a fair price for putting all the pieces together and laying out your own personal financial wealth building strategy without having to write a big check? $3,497 would be more than fair, but you're not going to pay $3,497. You're not even going to pay $2,197, and you won't even pay $697. The cost is only $197, but it's your choice. You could research the thousands upon thousands of financial plans out there, or interview various insurance brokers, or hire your own tax strategist or personal financial planner. You could get your team together your CPA, your estate planning attorney, an asset protection specialist, your insurance agent, stockbroker, investment advisor, and lay out a plan. You could cobble together your will and your family trust on LegalZoom. But you must act now. Protect yourself now. Your financial future should not be a delayed decision. Take back or gain the power now to control your financial future. Click on the order button below to guarantee your financial independence. Remember, you deserve to find out for yourself and see how fast you can amass wealth with the family bank. If for any reason it's not working out for you, simply ask for a refund, 100% risk-free, no hassles, no questions asked, money-back guarantee for one year. And you get to keep the bonus of the business entity that we helped you set up, just for giving Cunningham Financial the opportunity to serve you. Now, here's what you can expect when you order. When you click on the order button, you'll be taken to a shopping cart page where you will complete your purchase. You'll receive an email confirmation receipt of your order. In it, you will also receive a link to the download page where you'll need to download and complete the financial profile and give us all the supporting documentation. No proprietary information such as social security or bank account numbers are required. We need a complete financial profile back from you in order for me to complete and record your personalized financial plan. Cunningham Financial will contact you to see if you have any questions or need any help filling out the financial profile. We're always there to help you. You may also request that we mail you a hard copy of the financial profile by calling or sending us an email. Our number and email address is in your order's email receipt. Bottom line is, we'll be in touch. So let's recap what you're going to get for $197. You get the personalized financial plan recorded on a DVD, value of $2,500, an estate plan review or will help you set it up for $2,500. A will and a living will has a value of $950 and a family revocable trust of $1,800 value, the setup of the actual bank, an annual plan review of $497, and you get to keep the bonus of the business entity setup that has a value of about $697, a total value of more than $8,900. Today, it's only $197.
Plus, you're going to get free lifetime upgrades of the family bank. So what's the catch, you may ask? Well, there really is none. What we're trying to achieve here is a long-term relationship that will be a win-win situation for both of us. Consider this. We live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, yet on an individual basis, the average American family is burdened with debt, one of the lowest personal savings rates in the world, rising personal bankruptcies, and senior citizens are retiring in poverty. In addition, we are overburdened with taxes by a group of politicians that cannot even balance their own budgets. It's time for this to stop. True financial education is not taught in our schools at any level, which only works to the benefit of the industry. My mission is to empower families with the financial tools and knowledge to change that dynamic to your advantage. If for any reason the family bank is not working out for you, there's no hassle, no questions asked. We will give you the $197 back 100% risk-free for one year. Don't delay. Your financial independence is worth it.